Are you tired of your current operating system and looking for a fresh and stylish alternative? Look no further, in this video I will guide you through the installation process of Zorin OS 16.3, the best looking Linux distribution that allows you to run Windows programs seamlessly. Get ready to experience the power and beauty of Zorin OS. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really exciting to share with you. I will be showing you how to install Zorin OS 16, a Linux distribution that not only looks amazing, but also lets you run your favorite Windows programs. Running Windows apps is as simple as running a .exe program or a .msi package on Zorin OS. So if you're ready to give your computer a fresh new look, and enjoy the best of both Linux as well as Windows, keep watching. Before I dive into the installation process, let's talk about why Zorin OS 16 is worth considering. Zorin OS 16 is built with a sleek and modern interface designed to make your computer experience enjoyable and visually appealing. With its intuitive design, you will quickly feel comfortable navigating through the system even if you're new to Linux. One of the standout features of Zorin OS 16 is its compatibility with Windows programs. Yes, you heard that right. You can run your favorite Windows applications seamlessly on Zorin OS 16 without any hassle. This is a game changer for those who rely on certain Windows software but want to switch to a Linux based system. Now let's get into the installation process. First you need to download the Zorin OS 16 ISO file from the official website zorin.com. In here click on download. So you have three editions of Zorin OS. The first one is Pro, the second one is Core and the third one is Lite. The Pro Edition is not free and it's going to cost you money. However, the Core and the Lite version, they are free. The only difference between Core and Lite is that Lite is designed to run for a low spec PC up to 15 years old and the Core Edition is designed to run on modern computers. So I'm going to download the Core Edition. I'll click on download. I'm going to type in my email address. I agree and click on subscribe and download. I can either go to my mailbox to download the copy of Zorin OS or I can click on skip to download. I'm going to save it on my D drive and click on save. All right, depending on the internet speed, it's going to take some time to download the ISO file. Once you have downloaded the ISO file, you can create a bootable USB drive using a tool like Rufus. Simply select the ISO file, click on open and select the USB drive. In my case, it is E drive and click start and I'll keep the default option selected, which is write in ISO image mode and click on OK. Click yes to download the new version of SysLinux. Click on OK on the warning message which says all data on this device will be destroyed. Remember to back up any important data on this USB drive as this process will erase all existing data. I'm going to click on OK. Wait for this to complete. Alright, with your bootable USB drive ready, Restart your computer, open your BIOS and select the boot options. So in the boot menu, I'm going to select the USB drive as the boot device, which in my case, it is listed as removable devices. All right, you can see the installation menu of Zorin OS 16. I'm going to select the first option, which is try or install Zorin OS. Wait for the file system checks to complete. Now on the welcome screen, I'm going to select install Zorin OS, which will basically install the Zorin OS on your computer. Now if you select try Zorin OS, it's going to boot the operating system from the CD. 
But in our case, I'm going to try install Zorin OS because I want to install Zorin OS on my computer. I'm going to select the default keyboard layout, which is English US, and click on continue. In updates and other software, I'm going to keep the default option selected, which is install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats, and I'll select continue. Next, you'll need to select the installation type. If you are new to Linux or want a hassle-free installation, go for the erase disk and install Zurin OS option. This will wipe out your existing operating system and install Zorin OS as the only operating system on your computer. If you prefer to dual boot with your existing operating system, you can choose something else. This will allow you to manually partition your hard drive and allocate space for Zorin OS 16 alongside your current operating system. I'm going to select Erase Disk and Install Zorin OS and click on Install. So I'm going to click on continue for write the changes to disks. Basically, it will wipe out everything on my disk and install Zorin OS. I'll click continue. I'll select my location and click continue. I'm going to specify the name of the user who's going to use this computer and the computer name and the username and the password. And you also have an option to log in automatically, or you can select the option require my password to log in. I'm going to select log in automatically for now, and I'll click continue. Okay, so wait for some time for the installation to complete. Okay, so it says the installation is complete, and you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. I'm going to click restart now. I'm going to remove the installation media and press enter. All right, there you go. We have completed the installation of Zorin OS. You can see the Zorin menu, which looks like a Windows start menu. Now to run Windows apps in Zorin OS 16, simply search for wine in the search bar and click on Windows App Support. So in this window, it will allow you to browse for all kind of uh, Windows apps that you want to run in different categories, such as audio, video, productivity, games, graphics, and photography, and utilities. Opening one of them, it will show you all the applications listed for each of these category. And you can select the Install tab, which will also list all the applications which are already installed and selecting the Updates tab will show you if there's any update to the apps which are already installed. Please note that not all Windows apps may be compatible with Zorin OS 16 and Wine, so it is recommended to check the Wine application database by navigating to the URL appdb.winehq.org to see if the Windows apps you want to run is supported. All right, you have successfully installed Zorin OS on your computer. Now you can enjoy the best looking Linux distribution with the ability to run Windows programs seamlessly. Explore the stunning interface, discover the vast array of open source software and experience the freedom of Zorin OS 16. That's all for today's video. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Linux related content. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and happy computing with Zorin OS 16.